What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. Um, if you're new here, hit that like and subscribe button. It helps me out, slowly growing. Um, anyways, before we get started, scratch that, we already got started. Um, today we're gonna be talking about why I ordered the uh, S550, this is a 2023 S550. Why I ordered this over waiting for a S650. Um, and we'll just kind of go over the exterior and interior and all these are my opinions um, so don't come after me but I watched the reveal of the S650 and from that moment I decided that I wanted to order one of these and I'm about to tell you why but let's go ahead and start this up and move it out into the driveway so we have a little bit more room to talk about it So I've moved the car so we have a little bit more space and more light coming in. Uh, we'll go ahead and we'll start under the hood because I know uh, people are gonna comment and say, well, the S650 has more power, blah, blah, blah. Um, but let's go ahead and actually discuss that because all the videos that I've seen, the S650 makes about the same or slightly higher than this car right here. So the power difference isn't a whole lot, at least right now from whatever Ford did to the cars or whatever's going on. A lot of them probably aren't broken in. I'm sure there's nobody out there that has a thousand miles yet. So that could be a factor. With that being said, I think the S650 uh, is set up for more power just because it's got the twin throttle bodies and the intakes. So it has the potential to outdo this by a lot, but as of the moment, uh, it just really doesn't outperform this to, you know, make me go either way on the cars. Uh, they're pretty equal. And from what I've seen, these cars are beating the S650s. If you have an S650, let me know. And if you raced anybody, let me know how it went. Because I'm curious. I'm not dogging on it. I'm just, you know, saying what I've seen. And so far, these are still faster. Because they're slightly lighter. Um... Let's go ahead and move to the outside. So for me personally, the S650 did do good on redesigning like the front, you know, it's, it feels like it's beefier. It's not really much wider, but it just looks meaner. Um, you know, I do enjoy the front of the S550s. The S650 does look meaner. Uh, I'll give it that. Uh, and I'll post, you know, pictures up here while I'm comparing. I do like the lights. I like the, uh, I like the three projectors that it has. Uh, and I've seen people, they're starting to build them for these. I'm not going to do it because I'm the type of person, I bought the S550. I want to keep it in S550. I'm not going to turn it into a GT500 or an S650. Um, that's just me. You know, this is what I got. I got it for a reason. I like the body style. Um, the wheels, so the S650 does come with better wheels, more options on the wheels anyways. The side, I don't think the side is a whole lot different on the S650 versus the S550. Um, nothing, not huge major, like the silhouette, the profile is about the same. Come around to the back though. The one thing I don't like about the S650 is I know this piece is a pain to keep clean, um, but I don't know how I feel about it painted on the new Mustangs. And I do actually like the lights. I like the more cut in on the S650s, and I'll post that up here, versus this. But what I dislike is they feel like, the taillights feel like they're small, if that makes sense. Like, I feel like they should have been maybe wider. 
than what they are. But other than that, I mean, you still get the active valve exhaust. You still get the Coyote engine, the 5.0 badging. Uh, I do like the grabber blue option for the Brembo's. Obviously with this car, I've got the red seats, so I would get the red Brembo's. Um, but for the most part, in my opinion, I don't think there's any major changes on the body style of the 550 and the 650. I actually prefer this body style just because it's a little more, I guess, curvy. And to me, the S650 looks like a box. And I can, I know people say it looks like a Camaro. You know, I disagree, but there are parts of it. Like if you look at it from the back, it does have a pretty Camaro shape. Cause right there, like I'm gonna call it the hip where that fender sticks out a little bit is curvier right here. And on the S650, they're boxier and Camaros are pretty boxy when it comes to that. Um, but that's it for the exterior. I mean, we can make our way to the interior. Oh, hang on guys. I gotta move my iPad. It's blocking my view. Okay. Jokes aside, that was like a big one when it came to picking this car. Um, I don't care for how car manufacturers are doing one big screen for your speedometer and stuff. I prefer this speedometer. I prefer it set in the dash, preferred, you know, I prefer that over the iPad style, just sitting up there like this. I mean, that's just my opinion. Do I think it's cool? Yes. Do I think it's neat? And it's a computer, you can update it, you can change it to have different speedometers. I think it's cool that you have the Fox body. I think it would be cool if they put the other generations of Mustangs on there, even if they put these gauges on there, that would be cool. But with that being said, I feel like they could have made a screen in the dash, plus a screen for the radio and still made it one piece instead of just sitting it on top of the dash if that makes sense because you still have this like mustang uh mustang style dash that's just my opinion and then another one is they got rid of the red seats as an option for the s650 i know they're still red but it's not the same red it's like crimson or maroon and i'm not a fan of it i wanted red that's what i got and then going back to the screen i don't mind the iPad screen right here. I know a lot of people do that. I've had it. I had a Mach-E for a little bit. It had it. I don't mind that. But this, I want that feeling of it. Feels more like a cockpit than the iPad dash, if that makes sense. So I ordered the S550 over the 650 due to the interior being a little bit more old school feel even with the digital dash and I feel like this can be updated to include new dashes and you could even put the Fox body in this if somebody figured it out. Um, the power difference isn't much more if any at all. The body styling, I prefer this body style just because the, the newer one is a little bit more boxy, it's heavier. Um, that's really those are my reasons and my opinions on why I chose this. If you chose one over the other or if you prefer one over the other, uh, leave a comment and let me know. Um, I'm just curious what everybody else thinks. And if you own an S650, I'm curious if you've seen more power than what's been shown in videos of dyno poles and stuff. But that's it for this video. Like and subscribe. I'm also going to add real quick before I end this video that the S650 still has the MT-82. Camaros, you get a Termic. Challengers, you get a Termic. Mustang is the last muscle car and they still don't offer a Termic. Why? <laughs>